She has spent one term as an at-large councilwoman in Houston. Amanda Edwards is now one of the Democrats who wants to unseat Senator John Cornyn. We sat down with her during a recent trip to Frisco. Thank you for the time. Absolutely, thank you for having me. There are a lot of folks in this race. How in the world are you going to stand out among these candidates? I think what is going to be most important for all Texans is picking the candidate and the person who can deliver real results that matter in their lives. While campaign speeches are one thing, delivering results are a total different thing, and that's what's going to be most critically important. You're on the Houston City Council. What experience have you gotten since you were elected in 2015 that would prepare you for the U.S. Senate? Absolutely. So I represent 2.3 million Houstonians, first and foremost. I'm an at-large council member, and in my service, I have been able to do things like create a vision around innovation, trying to cultivate an innovation economy in our city. So I started a task force for technology and innovation. And from that work, we have done things like create a fund to funds model to increase venture capital in our city so startups can thrive. We've also just broken ground recently on our brand new innovation district for our city. So these are things that can be game changers for the city in terms of job creation, uh, the flow uh, of a future economy that helps to support existing businesses and new ones. Those are the types of things that require vision and a, and a tenacity to get things done. In addition, I've also been able to help uh, on a very grassroots level with Harvey Recovery. I have mobilized hundreds of people to help go door to door for low income seniors who need help after Harvey. And of course, I've been a tireless advocate for them and many, many more. And of course, Houston's the largest city in the state and one of the largest in the country. But the, the 2018 election between Beto O'Reilly Rourke and Ted Cruz, Cruz proved to Democrats one thing, and that is they did not do as good of, a, good of a job in the rural areas. Yeah. How are you going to change that? What, what's your strategy for getting out into rural Texas? One of the things that I'm most proud of about what we're doing on this campaign trail is be building a people-powered movement where people can see results in their lives. And what I mean by that, I'm actually going to go talk about policy solutions. Don't just talk about how people's jobs have gone away and, and then make it a conversation about building a wall. This is about bringing tangible, substantive solutions to the table, making sure you bring the residents along to make sure it works for them. The one thing that I'm thinking that we can do is look at like workforce uh, uh, job development credits that you Even can take rural areas in though? rural areas. So you should have answers for urban areas, suburban areas, and rural areas. In, in a place that is a rural community, why not have transferable credits there? If your job has now required new training for equipment, for example, let's say you're in a manufacturing context, you don't have to leave your job to go take classes. This is something that's baked in for you. Or if you're in an instance where a factory may have closed, why not incentivize business to put some of their back office sustainable wage jobs in that area? Or more importantly, why not get people connected with broadband internet? There are so many broadband internet deserts in our states, uh, it's unbelievable. So people are not even gaining access to job opportunities, education opportunities, if they're not even connected. And those are some starting points. No matter where you live, you should be connected and we can put jobs in places that we want to see them. It's just a matter of having the vision and the willingness to do it. Big state, good luck to you. Less than six months left until the primary. Good That's luck. right. Thank you so much.